This is the very first track I've ever laid for Willie. I did use food about every three feet, but he doesn't seem to be particularly interested in finding the food. So this is the only track that I used food on. This track took us the longest in terms of time, which I guess is to be expected since Willie has never done this before. And he did seem to get the idea that he was getting information from the ground. The wind is very strong today. It's blowing from the viewer's back and toward the screen. And I tried to take that into account as I laid the subsequent tracks for him. When I laid the tracks, Willie could see me laying them because that's how it is recommended to start with a new dog. Short tracks, and he gets to see you lay them. At the end of the track, there's a toy for us to play with, and I was very surprised he doesn't react strongly uh, when he gets to the toy on any of the tracks. Uh, whereas when Belle comes across an object, especially with my scent on it, it looks like it hits her in the face, and she couldn't ignore it if she wanted to. This is our second track. It went the fastest. He just nailed this one. <laughs> a third track. This took us a fairly long time. Um, as you can see, though, he, he takes off nicely down the track. The toy is behind the wing of that jump, and he overshoots it. And, of course, I had to get back to him where I picked him up. So I walk left when I finish the track, and he's now following that. So I'm just going to stand there and wait for him to find the toy. And then once Willie finds the toy, I'll try and engage him with a little play. our final track for the day. And he drifts wide of the track because the wind is blowing the scent. The toy is inside the yellow tunnel that's ahead of us, so I have to just stand at my ground until he comes back to the actual yeah. physical track and finds the toy right away. <laughs> 